and welcome to the Bride Guide 101 with Gemma and Jade here at the Wedding Rooms in Kidderminster. <laughs> Just sit and look at me. Yes, you <laughs> are Jade and I am Gemma. <laughs> and today we're talking body shapes. We're continuing our look at different body shapes and how best to dress them for your bridal wear. So I, we're going to look at me today. I'm the guinea pig. What shape pig. are you? Rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> so the rectangle is the best of all the shapes because it basically means you've got no shape. So uh, typically with a rectangle shape, like <laughs> <laughs> we've got over this. We've had a morning of, of it's yes, fine. <laughs> it's fine. Everyone's different when you embrace all shapes. I am straight down, so I've got no boobs. I've got no bum. <laughs> but we're going to get the illusion of all of that today. Yeah. <laughs> so we can gonna, make it happen. Yeah, so we're going to look at when you are straight down, get the best from your bridal dress. And that's for a few things we're going to look at defining your waist, looking at proportions. But talking about proportions, now I'm a two for one today. <laughs> Every day's a good day, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I really feel like I'm coming off really well today. Deal Friday. So when we finish this video, I'm going to have a big glass of wine. <laughs> and just to feel really good about myself. <laughs> okay. Why are you two for one, Jade? <laughs> well, because I'm also petite. So if you're struggling to dress a rectangle shape, throw a petite in there and it's even harder. So when petite, it knocks proportions out, basically. Yeah. I'm five one and I have no shape. Hi. <laughs> That's me. I like long walks. They're queuing out through the door for you. I like long walks on the beach. I love food. I do. It's gone to a different place now. But so basically, we're going to look at petite as well. So that is how to dress for a petite shape because you're knocking your proportions out, as I yeah. said. So we can look at bridal dresses that work for a petite bride and also sort of that work for a rectangle shape. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to whip my first dress on so I can feel really good about myself because I'm not feeling so good Yeah, now. let's give her some shape. Yeah. Right, <laughs> she keeps making me <laughs> <laughs> So here we have our first dress. What have we got, Jade? We've got an A line. <laughs> so I already feel better because I'll tell you why. I'm defining my waist, which is always really important. When you are a rectangle shape, you want to create the illusion of more shape. So what is done by pulling me in at my waist but having a bigger skirt, that's bigger than I am. So if I do that, it's different to when it's fuller. So I'm get, making my waist look even smaller because my skirt's bigger so you're getting more shape. And why this off the shoulder works so well in terms of being petite is because when you are petite, you've got smaller shoulders. If you've got anything really bulky, a huge straps and lots of detail, they can throw your proportions off. So off the shoulder is very flattering for petite brides because you're showing off your smaller side, but you're making it not bulky at the top. Um, and, and on that, I think it's like, it, it sort of widens your eye, doesn't it? So then it takes your, your waist in again and then back out. And yeah. again, it's it's all just giving you shape, isn't yeah. it, that perhaps you didn't have... It, like, pull, can you pull those straps up or not? Yeah. <laughs> like if you just like... I know they don't go like that, oh, but if you I just hold them... <laughs> get, on, get the guns in there! My boobs seem to be moving up! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if I were to have... This sort of, you can see it's making my... Well, it's, it's then just looking down, isn't it? Rather yeah. than out, than in. It's worth bearing off, if you are going to show some, we'll show this in the dresses. Yeah. You need to keep them quite delicate when you are petite. But so in terms back to being a rectangle shape, the reason this is working so well is because you're getting a bigger illusion because your skirt's bigger than you are and to redefine your waist and making that so focal point. And that's why A-line works for so many people because it's making your waist the smallest point and it's giving you that illusion of shape. Um, and then in terms of being petite with this dress, Go back to um, I'm on a step at the moment. That's also why I feel really good. <laughs> step if down, I step Jade. down. Oh no! <laughs> uh -huh. So this obviously needs to be taken up for me, but as you can see, I've not lost proportions. I suddenly knocking them out. My waist is where it needs to be, and even if this were taken up, you are will lose some of the lace. It's worth bearing in mind when you have got a lace hem. She's zooming in. Honestly, it's you like it's like I've never used a camera before. You can't see what I can right, see. Right, step back, will you? Look, you're right in my face. No, Give me some bloody looking. space. Oh my god! Sorry, I'm ladies. Like, right, right. You can't see what I can I'll, see. I'll show I'm... you. Hang on. I'll show you oh. what we were talking about. She's coming in. What we're talking about is you've got this lace panel at the bottom, which looks lovely now because then you've got a space to the next one. Obviously, like Jade's feet are like here, so if all of this has to move up in proportion, all of a sudden, let me put those bits down because they'd be down, wouldn't they? Like that, look, this one's even joining, 
and then you haven't got the proportions. So what your seamstress might do is she might take pieces of these appliques out so mm. that you've still got a nice fair step. amount. So you, you, you can have something with lace at the bottom, but you perhaps wouldn't want it quite as wide, maybe more of a smaller band if yeah. that's what you like the look of. It's worth playing around with that and your seamstress will work for you. But again, A-line is going to be your go-to when you are petite because it's really going to show off your waist. And if you are rectangle shape, again, showing your waist off and keeping your proportions, it'll balance you out and give the illusion of not being boom, but more like boom. Go. Right then, so up next, my hands are on jazz <laughs> hair. We've gone for a fitted dress. Now this dress, if you are petite, this is what it's going to work for you. And why I always feel really good in this sort of dress. It's because the lines are quite gentle. So with this line, you've got this cut out here. Let me zoom in. There, she's zooming in. Does she know how to do it this time? Oh yeah, she's remembered. So you've got this panelling here and at the sides. And what that's doing, it's giving detail to create shapes. You're doing that again. And being petite, when you have fitted dresses, sometimes with the fishtails, you're going to lose your proportions because they're designed for taller ladies. So whether it would be coming into your knee, it'll go below that and obviously knock your proportions out. So a gentle fitted dress is always going to really emphasise your shape without making it too harsh lines. And the other reason this dress works so well is because of the straps. Now when we spoke about being petite, sometimes you've got petite shoulders. Anything really heavy on your shoulders will knock your proportions out again. So having delicate straps will always give balance to you. Do you know what else I think as well, which I find with brides, is that when... Oh, my fingers made it go out of focus. <laughs> I'm going to poke you in the face. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> when, when you had the off the shoulder before, obviously it was doing something for your shape, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Because now this is going up, obviously my eyes drawn yeah. higher up and then obviously lower down with the bottom. So it's like, obviously, it just looks like you're taller, doesn't it? Because there's more because material. Because I'm You are, and that. <laughs> Whereas obviously if you cut the material off there, then my yes. eyes just focus there, whereas now it's focused there, and so obviously it just makes you look taller, doesn't it? And I think the key points with fitted dresses, you mm. need to keep the lines quite gentle. You can wear a fitted dress if you're petite, but you just need to make sure it isn't harsh lines. The next dress I'm going to put on actually is a fitted dress that has quite harsh defined lines for lots of different reasons where the pattern goes on. It's one of Gem's, Gem's amazing in the next dress. I look I'm pear shaped, that's why. <laughs> I look not so nice, but we wanted to show you a comparison of how a fitted dress will work differently when you're petite because keeping the lines gentle will work better for you to create this illusion of shape. And if I step down, obviously it needs to be taken up. I've not lost my proportions here. Yeah. I'm still it's still kicking out where it needs to kick out on the skirt, but again, I've not, you know, lost anything. Look, but it'll be interesting, ladies, to see what you think of the next one because like I mean, I still think you look great in it, but you don't feel good. No, good I never it, feel you? as good as in a shape like this compared yeah. to the harsh lines of a fitted. Yeah. So, if you're a rectangle, you again a fitted dress will give you the illusion of shape as well. So it's a really good go-to style to play around with if you are a rectangle. Especially shape. if it's got something around the yeah. waist. So, like this has obviously got the band plus your the cutout. Your detail. If you look at the back, of brings this dress your eye well, in, doesn't it? Oh, you can see. Obviously, we've got clips in here, but this panel in here. It, again, it's really going to define your waist and your bow and really give the illusion of shape that I don't have. <laughs> Whereas if it was all just one block yeah. of material, obviously it's not it's not helping anyway. So we're going to get to the next dress and you can see the difference. Yeah, cup boob back in. If I'd have been recording two seconds ago, guys, you just said something completely well, different. Well, I can't move because my boobs won't pop out. <laughs> This is the dress that I never feel great in, and Jim loves this dress. I love this dress. It just makes me just not feel great, and there's a few reasons. If you are a tall rectangle, this shape will work for you because it's really give the illusion of shape because it's kicking out, and all the details are working for that. I get that, but when I step off the step, you're going to see what happens. Yeah, I'll, come, I'll come and I'll tuck it in so you can see. Right, hang on. She told me what to do, and I've already <laughs> forgotten. Right. Which was step to go. backwards. That's it, right. I'm holding my boots. I will show you, ladies, what this is the problem with having one of these. You've got to be careful. So, because what happens is. Oh, hang on. My foot's cold. <laughs> okay, I'm free. Don't wear tights. Oh, like Cinderella, just deal with it. No. <laughs> Let me have a look, see whether that's. I mean, obviously, it's going to be a lot better than that, but. It's it's now you've got like three quarters here and then like not. I look the shorter right part. now. Yeah. My body's not been elongated being petite bride in this dress. So if you are considering a really harsh sort of bam line with your fishtail, 
see if the designer will do petite as in it's going to cut your proportions because if this were that's the problem isn't it yeah, yeah. if i could wriggle this all up a little bit more now if that's word yeah bring that's that exactly up, what it yeah. is yeah it's now making my body longer again so i'm not cutting it but like, if we order this in petite it does it all it comes is shorter at the bottom yeah. So obviously the the where it fits on the line, <laughs> where it fits on the line is still. And I'm not sure I can dance as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I need more movement. Well, that's why you like the like yes. relaxed stretchy ones, don't yeah. you? But yeah, if I think if you're tall and rectangle, it works. If you're petite, I think you can still make it work. But you could do with having the dress made petite. And that's petite. the important part with this. It's playing around because ultimately, the reason I don't feel good in this dress. Is because I don't think I look good in this dress. Yeah. So if you feel good in a dress, you will look better. So the next dress we're going to put on, we're going to look at the petite sort of shape, is really showing off your waistband by having going back to A line. Oh, we have. Oh, 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 oh. The words. The words, Jenna. Next. <laughs> <laughs> so up next, we have back to an A line style. Now, this dress, uh, if you're a rectangle, is going to work really well for you. And that's because we've got this band. It's really showing off your waistband. And it's giving the illusion of shape because it's making this a focal point with a skirt going out a little bit more. Again, it's elongating my body for a petite bride as well because it, the band is sitting quite nicely on my... It's not too low, it's not too high, so it's giving a nice illusion again of the waist. In terms of the neckline, it's going to work really well for rectangle shape because you're putting detail on your shoulders but not too much more importantly. And it's taking it out ever so slightly, isn't yeah. it? So again, it's like... You know what would be even better with something like this because you've got the, the waistband. If you knock the shoulders off, can you take them up? They're too tight. That's it. Like th For me, that's like even better then because yeah. my eye is out, then in, then out again. Yeah. But in and then out, out and, and then in. in. <laughs> <laughs> that's it now. But again, the key point why this dress is working for a rectangle mm. shape, it's making your... Yeah. Focal point. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> there well. it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's all about this part, and it's keeping in tone with making your shape the focal point of it. And it's really light and comfortable. Side note: We were just saying actually how much I love this dress. I know I really like it. Yeah, it's one of our girls to go. Is it actually like in one of our like? I don't know. It just feels really nice and light, and yeah. I'm ready to go. But I think it because as well, it's got nothing on the bottom. Yeah. So, like, you, you look longer there, don't you? Yeah, and then, if I step down, I yeah. know she likes me doing this. Honestly. But back to Petite Bride, I've not lost proportion. It looks exactly the same, isn't it? It's still keeping my... I don't... have Not like the... the... Honestly? <laughs> Do you want a drink? <laughs> well, you <yeah. laughs> yeah, I can and get the <laughs> My point is, you've not lost your proportion. There it is. <laughs> so, up next, we are going... Our next video, not up next... Oh. Honestly, <laughs> she's better when she is drunk. <laughs> I'm so fun. <laughs> I'm loads of fun. We're going to continue our look at shapes, and the video we'll be posting soon is all on um, gem. So this is where we'll pull gems body shape apart. Oh, a pair with no boobs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, we're gonna address that. So our key points then: if you are a rectangle body shape. Don't despair, ladies. We've got this. Yeah. We will give you shape with dresses by looking at detail, necklines, waistbands, shapes to give that illusion of shapes because that's what we're creating. If you are a petite bride, keep your eye on details on where they're falling. If the lines are too harsh with fitted dresses, step off that step and look at yourself. Even if you're wearing heels, you need to bear that in mind uh, and possibly look at petite options with those proportions. And in terms of necklines, if you're a petite bride, you want to keep those nice and delicate as well and do think too heavy because again, you'll look top, top heavy when you're not. And it's all about the waistband. So like, don't go yet, Jim. She was about to turn it off. <laughs> like and it. subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe to the channel, The Bride Guide 101 for more top tips about your wedding.